Greetings, comrades and capitalist pigs. I am sorry I have not been on internet for a while. Actually, my internet is out. And it leads me to today's question. What do Russians call it when the internet is out? We call it internet. <laughs> Until next time, capitalist pigs. Stop. Greetings, comrades and capitalist pigs. I was just talking to uncle who was at coronation of King Charles. He said that King Charles, when he was taking his oath of coronation, farted. However, nobody said anything. Do you know why? A noble gas causes no reaction. Ah! Until next time, capitalist pigs. Stop! Greetings, comrades and capitalist pigs. What did the Soviet couch say when it wanted to change the channel? Nothing. No couch can talk, not even Soviet couch. We are an amazing people, but that's just crazy talk. Stop! Greetings, comrades and capitalist pigs. Today I have awkward exchange with American at picnic barbecue. I was talking with gentlemen and I could not think of right word for ask what he has. He has a frankfurter with the chili on it. And I said, what is that? How can I get that? He said, oh. That is a chili dog. And in Russian, a chili dog is a chili sovaka. So, after a little bit of uh, awkwardness, I decide to leave barbecue where they are eating dogs. <coughs> Greetings, comrades and capitalist pigs. Today I was driving in US and A traffic and I see something get me very confused. I pull up to intersection and car in front of me has on its bumper sticker that says, Beware of the idiot behind me. I do not quite know what this means. So I follow him for rest of day to find out who the idiot was. Greetings, comrades and capitalist pigs. One question I am asked of all the time by my fellow countrymen is how much English do I need to learn before I make trip to United of the States? I tell them, you only need to learn maybe 15 to 20 percent of language. If you don't know the word, just look thoughtful and say, I do not know the English word for this. Then they will just think you're trying really hard and not a complete moron. And now a personal message from my ass. Thanks. Greetings, comrades and capitalist pigs. One question I am asked of all the time is how does great Soviet leadership and great Russian leadership tell when a person is dumb enough to agree with their bullshit propaganda? I tell them the truth. They give an astrological test. If you are any of the following star signs, the government thinks you're a moron. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, or Pisces. If you are any one of these, you are stupid enough to be a Soviet or a Russian!